Hello, hello, and welcome into this video. Let's talk about work authorization and the timeline it took to get my work authorization, my EAD on the marriage-based green card, and also my process of getting a job now that I have this card. Um, so this is going to be a fun vlog style video where I take you through the moment I see my work authorization being approved to me actually getting hired for a job. I take you along that whole process and everything I needed and timelines in between. My work permit just got approved on the marriage based green card. So currently I'm just on a walk in Florida with these two little cute girls. I am Irish um, and I moved here from Ireland to Philadelphia to marry my husband and we are just spending some vacation time down here in Florida while I was waiting for my work permit to come in and the work permit has actually been sent from USCIS to my lawyer's office. It literally came within like just over a month of getting my receipt application that my application was received by the USCIS. Yeah, so really that is amazing. And I know that that is super fast. So I'm super lucky how quick it came in. I was not expecting this. All right, so the next time I'll see you, I'll be in Philadelphia and we will be making our resume and dropping it into jobs to get a potential job. I'm hoping to literally get a job within a couple of days, so. Oh, I literally just arrived back to Philadelphia. It is like almost 12 p.m. and I'm gonna check my mail to see if my employment card and other things came in. Mail, um, and it looks like I see some envelope from the lower, so I think that's my employment card. But the only thing is I don't see my medical, which is another thing that I'm waiting for. So hopefully that is in my other mailbox. I just get another one, thankfully. Hopefully this is it but I'm probably just gonna check it quickly when I go back. Good news that my work permit arrived um, and I actually had my first interview today. So I filled out some online applications for some restaurants close by because I do wanna first work in a restaurant. I actually made my first resume that I've made in a while and updated this. So my thought process about applying for jobs is that, well, it would be great to apply for a job um, locally because I am not driving just yet. Um, I took a couple of driving lessons in Ireland but I don't have my full license and I cannot get that until I believe I have um, my green card or I have um, a visa here so I can go through that process. So for now I'm not driving so um, I'm lucky to live um, close to a couple of different um, job potential job opportunities so i'm actually thinking of um, working in a restaurant for now um as it's quite local to me and it just makes sense so i've had a couple of interviews in the last day um i made this interview or this resume using canva just to make it bright and pretty and have my name there and i just put on two of the most recent jobs i worked with that apply to the job that i am applying for so that are in that hospitality area. Some good news to share. I've been home two weeks and now I officially have a job. I've signed the contract and everything. I had a couple of interviews and I chose a job that I want. Now they did need my social security number and that's something I realized didn't come with the work authorization. So I'll tell you about how I got that too. My timeline, I have my timeline opened up to let you know how long it took me from applying for the green card through marriage to, um, you know, now where I am with having my work authorization and having my social number and now having my interview lined up as well. So um, I first applied for um, and input all my paperwork back in um, mid-January, so about January 16th, and I heard back January 30th to know, to know for them to let me know that they've received all of my paperwork. Um, now it took until then March 3rd, um, I got a notification that they actively rev were reviewing my I-765 form, which is my application for employment authorization. Excuse me, this is my, this is my video. So for my timeline, um, I sent everything in by January 16th on January 30th. I got a notification that they have received my information, which included my I-765 application for employment authorization and I was sent a receipt notice. And then on March 3rd, 
um, was the next time I got a notification where I received a notification that they are actively reviewing my I-765 application for employment authorization. And then on March 3rd, I also had um, my biometrics appointment, um, which was my fingerprint appointment. So an hour after my fingerprint appointment is when I actually got that notification. And a couple hours later, I got another notification that same day, March 3rd, to say, we're producing your new card for your form I-765 application for employment authorization. Um, so that came through really fast. And then on March 13th, I got my next notification to say, we produce your new card for your form I-765 application for employment authorization. And then on March 13th, later that day, I was notified that the card was delivered to me by the post office. Now it did take until, I believe, I think it was March 21st for me to actually receive that in the mail to take a little bit of time to get here. Um, but I have it now, I have it right here, so I'm so excited. And then I start looking for jobs, like literally within days after around my local area, just to start working right away. And now I've actually got hired um, at a job at a restaurant, which I'm excited to work for. And I then was filling out some work applications and realized that I need a social security number. Now, I already previously had a social security number in the United States because previously I was here on another visa, which is called the H2B visa, which is a temporary visa for workers to come and work temporarily. Um, in the United States. So I currently had a social security number, but obviously it's not activated because I wasn't a, a legal, um, legally here. Um, so they actually gave me that same, just reactivated that same social security number. So if you're in a situation like me and you've had one before, you'll probably get that reactivated. If not, then you'll be given a new social security number. And my lawyer said that that usually comes seven days after you receive your work authorization in the mail too. And if you don't get it, then, you know, to call the social security office. And I actually called my social security office and in specific, my local one, just for them to look at my records to make sure that I did have a social number and that it was the same. So I called it what my number was and then they confirmed that that is the correct number for me. So I have all my things together. My work authorization lasts for two years. And um, my lawyer that I'm working with told me that, you know, that's, you know, well, realistically, I, I may have everything by then, hopefully, because my interview is, and um, my interview is the, coming up on the 25th of April. So that's pretty soon. So I probably will have everything within two years. But if not, that's something that can always be extended as well. So that's nothing to worry about. So yes, that is my timeline so far. I have my interview on April 25th and I'll be making another video about my preparation because I am prep prepping with the lawyers on um, April 17th just to discuss what you know the interview may be like and preparation for me and my husband to go to that interview and I'll make some more videos after that. So if you have any comments or questions, do feel free to write them in the comment section below um, for me or um, if you have any other um, ideas for next videos. See you all and good luck on your journey too.